Netanyahu is very important for Netanyahu. So uh, he would like to leave uh, uh, a legacy. In order to have a Jewish and democratic state, it is in Israel's interest to have a Palestinian uh, state. You know, the problem is demography. The, pro the, the problem is that if Israel does not go for a real, and I mean viable, uh, a, a two-state solution, a viable Palestinian state, uh, we will end up with a one-state solution by default. This is the time to really take a bold initiative. Only a bold initiative will be able to deconstruct the context and, 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 uh, and, uh, and, change, and change expectations, uh, change the rules of the game, as it were. Because all of the rules of the game as they are set now are against Israel. Uh, but there are no signs that he's willing to do that. He's, he's uh, muddling through. He thinks, you know, okay, I survived another week. I survived another month. That's how he keeps thinking. What works on Netanyahu's favor, if I can say so, is that the uh, so-called Arab Spring uh, has not blue. I mean, the flowers have not flowered yet. I mean, uh, and so uh, everything can happen. You know, in Egypt, in Syria, and elsewhere, uh, uh, things are so unclear yet 